Automatic Addison. In this tutorial, we will build upon our previous Hello World project to learn how to plan around objects in a simulated environment using C++ and Move It 2. I will guide you through the process of inserting collision objects into the planning scene and programming the robot to plan its movements while avoiding these obstacles. The official instructions for this tutorial are available on the Move It 2 website, but we'll walk through everything together, step by step. We'll cover how to create and add collision objects to the scene, update target poses, and use the planning scene interface to communicate changes to move group. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create a program that allows a robot to plan and execute movements while avoiding obstacles in its environment. The result will look something like this. All right, let's start by opening up a terminal window. And what we're going to do now, let's just talk about it. First, we're going to add the Move It Visual Tools as a dependency inside the MyCobot Move It Demos package. So let's do that now. I'm going to go CD ROS2 source. CD my cobot ROS2, CD my cobot move it demos. Right, and I am inside here. And we're going to open the package XML file. All right, and what we want to do here is we want to add the move it visual tools dependency. This is a visualization toolkit for move it that provides tools to visualize robot states, trajectories, collision objects, and planning scenes in ROS2. It integrates with RViz and is particularly useful for debugging motion planning issues, offering functions to generate markers, display text, and visualize trajectories in the 3D environment. So here I'm going to open up uh, these. I have this package XML opened and let's go here to the package XML. Let's go down to line 13 and I'm going to write Depend, and let's do move it underscore visual underscore tools, and then forward slash and then depend. Hey, okay, looking good, looking good. And now let's go over to our CMake list.txt. Let's do get it, cmake list.txt, open that puppy up. And let's get ready to add under the find package area. We need to go down here and let's add find underscore package, open parentheses, move it, underscore visual, underscore tools, and then required. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, now let's close. Let's open up a new terminal window and let's go to the workspace. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. CD tilde forward slash Ross. Okay, we're in our workspace. And let's do our favorite command to check for dependencies. We're going to do ROS depth install hyphen hyphen from hyphen paths src hyphen hyphen ignore hyphen src space hyphen y. Okay, and here we get a prompt to install Jazzy Move It Visual Tools, and let's type in the password right here. Great. Okay, now we're going to do Colcon build. All right, everything built fine. And I'm going to source the bash RC. Why do I do that? Go to the previous tutorial where you can see why. I'm going to go here. I'll just, uh, just show you for you guys who don't want to go to that old tutorial. So here's where I source the jazzy. ROS2 distribution, and here's where I source the workspace. So that's all in the bash RC. That's why I run that source bash RC command to update our session here. You can also open up a new terminal window, which accomplishes the same thing. Okay, now let's start our tutorial by creating a new C++ source file in the appropriate directory of our ROS2 workspace. Here's how to do it. You've got a terminal open. Move to the 
source file, my cobot ROS2, my cobot move it demos, source, clear that out. Now that we're in the right location, let's create a new file. We'll name it plan around objects.cpp. And you can create this file using a text editor of your choice. For example, I'm going to use, uh, let's just do touch right here. Touch plan underscore around underscore objects dot cpp. All right. And now that we got that, let's go over here to our repository that I downloaded from GitHub. You can get all this code from GitHub. Go to move it demos source plan around objects, open it up and do control a control C. Let's copy it. Okay, let's open up the plan around objects here. So we're going to copy all of this code here. And we're going to put it over here. Save. And close the file. Let's just do a quick code walkthrough. So let's go up here to get it, plan around objects, just walk you through here. So at the top, we've got some introductory comments explaining what the program does. Next here, we see a bunch of include statements. These include statements tell the program which tools it needs to use. In this case, it's bringing in libraries for controlling the robot, planning movements, and visualizing what's happening. Next, we've got our main function here. Main function is where the actual program begins. It starts by initializing ROS2 on this line. All right. The code sets up a separate thread. All right, which is like a, you can see right here, which is like a good, good analogy. It's like a mini programming running alongside our main one. So this thread keeps track of what's happening with the robot in real time. Okay, we've got our interface right here for controlling the robot arm. These interfaces are how our program talks to the robot, telling it where to move and how to plan its movements. And the code specifies some settings for these movements here, like how fast the arm can move and how long it can take to plan a path. All right, then the program then sets up some tools for visualizing what's happening. This allows us to see a 3D representation of the robot and its planned movements in Arvis. Okay, and then after that, we are specifying a target pose for the robot arm. This is the position and orientation we want to move the arm to. Okay, and one of the key parts, the key parts of this particular program is setting up a virtual obstacle. So we define a box in the robot's workspace that the arm needs to avoid. And this box is given a specific size and position, which we can see down here. So... With the target and the obstacle set up, the program then asks the robot to plan a path to the target that avoids the obstacles. If it successfully creates a plan, it shows this plan in RViz and then tells the robot to execute the movement. Execute. So throughout this process, the code includes various prompts and visual cues to keep you informed about what's happening. I make sure to fill it with lots of log messages. We've also got error handling to deal with situations where the robot can't find a safe path to the target. And finally, at the end, the robot uh, program here, it cleans up after itself, shutting down ROS2 and ending the separate thread it created at the beginning. Da-da-da, down here. 
All right, now it's time to edit cmakelist.txt. Get it, cmakelist.txt. And let's go over here and let's take a look at this. Downloads. Mycobot. Mycobot Divos. CMake list. All right, and you can see here we've got this code that we need to add to our cmakelist.txt to be able to have the plan around object stuff. Let's do that down here. Copy paste this block. Don't be intimidated. It's a lot of text, a lot of stuff. You can find it on GitHub. All right, what else do we need? Plan around objects that needs to go below hello movement in the install targets. Let's go back and see how we did it. It's targets. Do another one just like that. Anything else? Anything else? I think we're good. Got the code in the installed targets. Just close all of that. All right, let's save. Okay, let's double check our package XML. Make sure everything looks good. Got the Move It Ross planning interface, the visual tools, and RLCPP. That looks all good. Let's close that. Okay, let's clear. Now let's build the package. I'm going to open up a new terminal window. Go to the workspace. Okay, and let's do run a Colcon build. Let's see if it screams because of the .h, the newest version of ROS2 likes .hpp for the header files instead of .h, and it did, it screamed again. Okay, so let's make the change manually. And I see it is screaming about planning scene interface.h and move group interface.h. So let's go over here to the code. CD source. Get it. Plan around. And let's go over here and check. Planning scene interface.hpp and move group interface.hpp. Uh, visual tools. Let's change it to HPP, see if it screams as well. Let's save. And let's try building again. I'm going to use, use the build command right here, the alias, build alias. And it looks like it cannot find it. So it's about a little bit of a mixture in here. So let's go back to .h for the move it visual tools. The beauty of ROS2, my friends, some stuff's updated, some stuff's not. This is how we do debugging. So these two are HPP and this is .h. Okay, so let's go back and clear and build again. And we hope we don't have those nasty errors. And we do not. Good, good, good. I'm going to go update that on GitHub. Now that we've set up our target pose and added a collision object to the planning scene, it's time to run our program and see the results. So let's launch the robot. Let's go bash. Tilda, ROS2. Source, my cobot, ROS2. My cobot, bring up. Scripts, my cobot 280, and move it out sh. Let's run this puppy.
Take your time, let it come up. Okay, I'm going to focus specifically on RViz right now. Let's move this over here. Get rid of that. X that out so we can see it nice and big. Okay, open up a new terminal window here. And now let's run the node. So ROS2, run my cobot, move it, demos, and then plan around objects. And let's go ahead and let's take a look. Pretty cool, we've got a new little green rectangle here. So when you run the node, you should observe this in RViz. The robot model should be visible. And a box representing your collision object should appear in the planning scene. Okay, and let's put RViz front and center. Now what I want you to do is go to the bottom left of RViz, and you're going to see this box that says RViz Visual Tools GUI. Okay, and click Next. And let's see what happens. Okay, we see the plan being created there. Did you just see that? Robot just moved. Took a second there. So the robot should plan a path to the target pose you specified, and it should avoid the collision object when it does that. And if planning is successful, all right, you should see that visualization, the plan path that we just saw. And the, the path should clearly avoid the collision object you added. And you should see over here in the logs, it should say planning request complete in the logs. Now, if you don't see the collision object or if the robot's plan path seems to ignore it, double check that your collision objects dimensions and position are appropriate for your robot's workspace. So you can tweak a little bit the dimensions and position of this rectangle there if you've run into issues. Now when you're ready, type next again to execute. And when this happens, you should see your robot move to the goal. So now is our robotic arm. You can see is at the goal position. And let's go over here. And we can see here, execute request accepted and execute request success. So there you have it, folks. You have seen how you can add and plan around objects using MoveIt2. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and keep building.